darling Fumi Nation, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are stopping by for the very, very first time, my name is Fumi Desalovold, and this is my bestie, Christina Ajayi. Christina, say hi. Hi, Fumi Nation. <laughs> How are you, my loves? The last time Christina was here, a lot of you have said in the comment section, you love the weight loss progress, the journey, the adventures that we are having. Christina has lost how much? In total now, 76. Ah! And I have lost 20 because we're trying to be fabulous. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, we're trying to be what? Healthy. Absolutely. Healthy. Even when Christina would come and visit me prior to her losing weight, we always went for what? Walks. We had to go for walks because we are talking about health. In your 50s, you are very vulnerable to all kinds. And yes, you can look cute, you can look glam, you can look sexy, you're wearing your outfits. We did a reel for you guys. You're going to live, but you want to be healthy. So today, my darling, Christine is going to answer a lot of your questions. Fibromyalgia was hot, one of them. Menopause, again, they wanted to Menopause, know. hot flashes, gray hair, balding hair, alopecia. Did I tell you that I didn't necessarily have, have alopecia, but I had like a patch. <laughs> and that patch, it grows longer than the whole head. I went yeah. to the doctor, it was stress. So he put an injection right there and that hair goes thicker and longer till this very really? day. Really? A hundred percent. It wasn't necessarily alopecia, but it was a patch. Okay. It was a patch. But then some of them are wondering why I always keep my hair low. I've still got alopecia. You have alopecia? Yes, in the middle of my head. I found that out today. I didn't know. After all these years? No, because I was asking, I said, Christina, you know what? Wouldn't yeah. it be nice if you kind of grew your hair? And what because we are suggesting. And she said, for me, I have alopecia. Yeah. And so that's why she cut it like super low. Yeah. So how do you feel? How did it make you feel? At first, it was very, um, I was very vulnerable because you know, hair is everything for yeah. us, for a woman. Your yeah. hair is everything. Yeah. And I had it relaxed in the beginning and I used to do all sorts and then I noticed it started to get really thin. Mm -hmm. And I kept going to my doctors, kept going, and then in the end he said, Christina, you actually have alopecia. Okay. So I stopped relaxing it. Okay. And I had to keep it natural. Yes. But then as it kept falling out, it grows and then it falls, comes yeah. back. And then I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna have to shave it all off. It's in the middle of my head. You can't yes. really see it unless yeah. I show it to you. But um, that's why I keep my hair low and natural. And you're so lucky. You have a beautifully shaped Thank head. Thank you. You do. I never noticed. Yeah. And you carried it with such confidence. Mm. I would never, I, I really didn't know. I wasn't always like that though. It's with time. With you time. get used to it, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, good job, mama. Thank you. I live for you. I love. I love. I live. I live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you know what we should do, Christina? Apps are made not in the gym, but in where? The kitchen. And that's where we shall go. Let's go down to the kitchen. Let us show you what we eat. And I'm doing this again because it's a lifestyle change. Yeah. You have to adapt to a healthier lifestyle. Listen, I am not any advocate for weight loss. I gain, I lose, I gain, I lose. Mm. But what I do know is that when my body is craving something good, it's because I'm eating badly. You see, when you get overweight, it's like stuffing a pillow. Stuffing a pillow until it becomes distorted. Yeah. Your body is crying out, let me live, let me breathe, let my organs have space. Mm -hmm. You gotta get rid of that weight. And I'm going to show you how you can do it painlessly. Mm. Are we ready to go downstairs? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, my loves. <laughs> So we're in the kitchen and we are just kind of going to show you what's in my fridge. I'm a bit hungry. We've been filming all day. Christina said that she's not eating any snacks. I'm having a banana. I always have bananas in the house. Adrian loves bananas and it is such a filler for me when it comes to snacking. While I'm snacking, Christina kick it off and talk to them. So. The last time we was on camera, uh -huh. sister to sister, uh -huh. a lot of you for me nation was asking to explain how I manage my fibromyalgia. I was diagnosed just as we went into the pandemic. And I was told I have a condition called fibromyalgia, which is widespread pain. What All causes it? They're still trying to figure it out. Scientists, doctors, but they diagnose you by symptoms. Huh. Yeah, so like I said, 
there's specific areas in the body like here yes my elbows yeah my knees yeah my, all my joints yes headaches yeah insomnia yes uh, some people have low mood so they go into depression oh yeah oh. Um, it's a lot of that so everyone ve like each person varies. varies yeah but it's such a crippling Could disease be. and the, the the sad thing about it is so you see me like this and you think oh she's fabulous she's yeah. nice that's all well and good but it's an it's an illness where it's invisible yes and people say look the outer appearance is what very deceptive because some days I'm in agony. Yes, because but, of it. Yes, but mm. since losing the weight, so I've lost what seventy six pounds now. Seventy six pounds, Christina. Turn yeah. for them. Turn for them, honey. Seventy six pounds. So this is seventy six pounds, and I'm still trying to lose more. Fantastic. Yeah, and I'm so proud of Christina. So so proud. Here's the thing, guys. I'm a friend, friend. I'm a sister and I'm a mom. I'm a sister, sister, and I'm a mom, mom. I'm a mom to a lot of you guys. And that title is honorable to me because it means that I have to be true to what you're giving me. Yeah. And that means sometimes to be truthful can be difficult. Yeah. It can be tricky, but it's the truth. Sis, if you have flab in the back, back fat, you're overweight. If your thighs are rubbing together, mm. you're overweight. If you feel that you're climbing the stairs, huffing and puffing, which I was doing, you're overweight. Yeah. Now, that's not that's not the end of the world. No. It just means that we're gonna fix it. Yeah. It just means that we're going to try and regulate our eating portions, our exercise, and what we are eating. Yeah. When Christina came to my house, every single time she come to my house, Christina, let's go for a walk. Yeah. If that was the only exercise she was going to do that week, I made sure that she did it. Yeah. Because I love her. Because I want her to be around. I don't want her to have diabetes. No. She's got beautiful is, twins. My do the doctor did say that though. Yes. He said, if you carry on like this, because I tell I had a lot of steroid injections last year. I yeah. I had about five of them. Yeah. And that blocks you up as well. But what he said to me, Christina, the extra weight that you've added, if you carry on like this, within the next four or five years, it could go into diabetes. So you know what, Christina? What do you like to eat for breakfast? What What do you enjoy eating for breakfast? I love oats. Yes. That's my go-to. So you I'm, love oats? Yeah, yeah. oats. Mm -hmm. I have uh, yogurt, yes. natural yogurt. Yeah. I'm kind of going vegan now because I find a lot of dairy products are not agreeing with me. Yeah. Yeah, I get really sick. Yeah. So I have a lot of protein yogurt. Scottish oats. Pula is half Scottish. <laughs> Adrian is Scottish. <laughs> So we love oats and we eat oats here in the family as well. We also have a lot of bananas, which I talked about. Mm. So what we enjoy more than anything, I'm just trying to find it because I had it right here and I had it this morning as well. Live and love Greek yogurt. Zero percent fat. Yeah. I find that Greek yogurt is very filling. Extremely filling. I have my Greek yogurt. I will have my fruits, maybe I will have grapes. I have a lot of grapes right here. Then what do I have? Pineapple. Mm -hmm. Then I have mangoes, which I love. Mm -hmm. And one of the lowest calories when it comes to fruit. Mm. I did not know that until I was working out. So you have a lot of fruit options. You can have oats. You can have scrambled eggs. Mm, I eat a lot yes. of eggs as well. You can have scrambled eggs. I also live and love whole wheat bread. Ola has been eating, as a matter of fact, to be honest, I started really eating whole wheat bread when I married Ola because that is all he eats. And I love it. The nuts, the raisins, we buy it at the bakery and just look. And then they slice it for us. And that is very filling as well. It is extremely filling. Mm. For a lot of people, it's a situation of I don't know what to eat. Diet food is boring. Oh, diet we don't food want to be on a diet though. Go right ahead. Take the floor. Right. 
So it's not about even being on a diet, it's just about eating healthy for life, not even about eating clean. Yes. Because you don't want to restrict yourself. Yes. It's the mistake we make, I think. Yes. We go yes. on this diet and then we can't yeah. keep up with it. And that is why it fails. Mm. Because you're putting yourself on a regime for a certain amount of time. I won't eat this. Yeah. I won't do this. I'll work out, work out, work out, work that out. That's it. Starve and you myself. starve yourself. Mm. It's not going to work. The, the you way. need, no. And the, what, what happens also is that you really weaken your muscle mass. True. You go up, you go down, and so your muscle weakens and you become softer. Yeah. What you need is balance. Translation, you can eat, have a treat. The other day we went to the Ivy, where a fabulous time, ice cream, desserts, everything. But that is just once, maybe a week, yeah. once every two weeks. On a regular basis, like you brush your teeth, like you wash your hair, like you have a bath. You make sure that you watch what you eat and you eat stuff that is good for your body. Even jam, no sugar, no sugar. I try to cut back. As we get older, your metabolism slows down. My metabolism has slowed down. The way I work out, yeah. I didn't have to do when I was modeling. No. Did not. Uh, but then again, I wasn't eating as much as I mm. did. You understand? And then you have to not eat late at night. With a slow metabolism, eating fatty foods at night, where is it gonna go? Yeah. It has nowhere else to go but the thighs. <laughs> <laughs> nowhere else to go. You can have soups. You can have salads. You can buy salads and add chicken. You can add nuts. You can add raisins, all your fun stuff. You can even have rice, but you cut the portions portion down. Control. And a portion control. My stomach, no, I'm always hungry. The trick is drink some water, have some tea, have some salad, have some fruit, have some veg first. There's all kinds of vegetables. Mm. I, I love avocados. Mwah. I live for avocados. I'm always okay, having good fatty foods. Actually. Yo, because it makes you look young. Mm. It makes you look yummy. So I chop them up and I have them and I throw them into my salad. I live and love it. I eat it anytime when I'm hungry. And I drop 20 pounds. I know what to do now. Yeah. Because the thing is, I used to do that too. I was a yo yo dieter. I lost about 50, 60 pounds. And yeah. I did it online. On Instagram, I was updating every day. Yeah. But as soon as I stopped that tight regime, I gained. Yeah. I gained 20. Yeah. And you have to go back. A lot of people think working out. No. That is part of it. 90% mm. is your diet. It is what, what diet. you eat. Salad dressing is extremely important. You go for zero fat, fat free. It's there. You'll get used to it. Instead of having full fat. Because you know what? The fat turns into what? Calories. The calories what? Turn into fat. Yeah. That you don't burn. And it sits right there. Before mm -hmm. you know it, your pants are getting bigger. And I, again, like I said, for me, and I noticed it right away, I hated the weight gain. I do not know anybody who has lost weight and hated losing the weight. Do you? No. 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 I don't know anybody. It's not healthy. It's not good for you. Your skin becomes distorted, yeah. discoloration. There are so many issues for every individual. It's very, very individual. It is individual. Very, very individual. Yeah. But it comes out in you yeah. that you're not treating me well. That's what your body is telling you in essence. You're not treating me well, sis. It, it heightens <laughs> your health issues like with me, the fibro, it made yeah. it worse. Yeah. It made it worse. Because yes. you, with fibro, you don't sleep. Some people sleep, some people don't. Like I said, you suffer from insomnia, some yeah. people. But with the extra weight, I had to slowly start to pace myself because a lot of you was asking for me to ask me, how do I manage it without taking medication? Yeah. Because the doctors will give you a lot of medication. Yeah. Yeah. I did take it in the beginning, but now I don't yeah. because I've learned how to manage it. Because and of the weight loss. Because of the weight loss and I paced myself. That's it. So like if you, for example, you want to walk for one hour, for the body, for us who have fibro, sometimes it can be a lot. So instead I'll walk half an hour. That's it. And then six hours later in the evening, I'll go again. So you I break, break it up. Into, yeah. You break it up. So you have to yeah. pace yourself. Yeah. You just have to manage yourself a lot better. And with the reduced weight, it makes it easier to live with because it doesn't go away. No. I used to snore. Mm. I snore when I gain weight. 
and Ola would tell me, "Feel me, you're snoring," and I'd be like, "Ah, oh, I gotta lose weight." Yeah. I know instantly. Yeah. The second that I stop snoring is because I've lost the weight. Yeah. Because <gasps> Fumi, you know what? what? You are a little yeah. piglet <laughs> <laughs> in every sense of the word. <laughs> Every sense of the word forms. You're a pigaloops. You have to cut back on the chocolates, on yeah. the ice creams, on the biscuits. We all like a snack. The, everybody loves it. Love I love the pasta. Chris. I love Ooh. the crisps. I love the pizzas. We love the fried yes. chicken. But when I tell you, like Christina said, get an air fryer mm -hmm. for That's the chips. I live for, I live the for air, fryer. air fryer. Yes. And then sweet potatoes. Let me go get my potatoes. <laughs> Let's go for the potato, guys. I live, I live, I live, I live, I live for the sweet potatoes. So yummy. And then when I air fry them, mm. and I just, oh my God, I, I'm with my salad on the side, yes. and then I always have chicken. There you go. It's so easy. Mm -hmm. It is just so easy. Let me take a I know they're gonna be like dirty. You're putting your fingers in your food. And no, 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 no. What's our hands? Our hands are washed. Our hands are clean. <laughs> Instead of frying all the time, boil your mm -hmm. eggs. Put your eggs. Or use the one cow. I use one cow now. Spray. Or use the one cow spray. Mm. Absolutely. The thing is that there are a hundred ways for you to cut back. Mm. The other day, I had I love apple pie, apple crumble. Mm -hmm. So your what favorite. I did was that I steamed my apples. And I sprinkled it with granola mm. and ate it with yogurt. I have to try that. Delicious. Mm. These are just kind of options yeah. for you guys to try. I'm going to show you before and after pictures of myself and of Christina. And instantly I looked older. Yeah. I looked sluggish. No, I looked. I like wasn't happy. Mm. I didn't feel sexy. We're married women. People calling you auntie, auntie, obviously. And auntie I don't mind. I, you know, I don't even mind the but auntie. But it's a different type of auntie. But it's a different kind of auntie. Like, <laughs> auntie, have a seat. Auntie, do you want to sit down? Auntie, auntie you need to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot going on. Yeah. And I don't want you guys to feel that way. We're living longer. Yeah. We live even longer mm. if we take better care of ourselves. Yeah. You really have to love yourself. And when you love right? when you love yourself, you love your body. Yeah. All, and ages. You all ages. 20, 30, 40, 50, all ages. 60, 70, all ages. 80s. All ages. I don't know anybody that is overweight that has not said, I want to lose some weight, actually, mm. for me, I do want to lose some weight. Yeah. I understand that it takes some time for you to know what's good for you because you have to live and enjoy your life. Yeah, yeah. Not everybody likes certain foods. Okay, fine, so if you love a certain food, eat a smaller portion of it, add vegetable to mm -hmm. it. You will find a vegetable, I'm positive that there are vegetables that you will enjoy, yeah. that you can eat alongside it. Yeah. That way, you're going to see the difference in your skin. The second, I tell you, the second you begin to treat your body right, you see it in your skin. Mm -hmm. Your skin is the biggest organ of your body. Do you know that? Can I, can I speak about something? Another question that someone asked. Go ahead. And that's to do with facial hair. Yes. But that is unavoidable because the hormones in our bodies, so from maybe when you're 20s, 30s, some of, some of us, not all women, start to get facial hair. Yes. What did I used to do? Tweezers and pick, 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 yeah. pick, pick, pick. I don't do that anymore. What do you do? I've now gone for laser. That's it. Laser. Laser your legs, yeah. laser your underarms, yeah. laser your bikini line, laser your chin. I have two or three hairs. Right out here. Ding, mm. ding, ding. <laughs> From when I got pregnant with Adrian. Yes, yes. When I got pregnant with Adrian. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yes, Almost. yes. Just laser, laser it off. Girls, go for laser. It's the best treatment, especially for us beautiful black sisters, you know. And yeah. it's, it's, it's sometimes it's unavoidable with the facial hair. Yeah. But don't shave because what it does is stimulates the root and it comes back even more. Stronger, thicker, yes. harder. My daughter had a Resilient. couple and I saw her pick it. I said, Erily, don't do that. No. Don't do that. Laser. I booked her in for laser. Yeah. It's been, what, four months now? Yeah. Nothing. That's it. With time, they give you yes. like a set of treatment and you yeah. keep going. I only have like three a year now, done. And then Lisa. So it keeps my so, skin so, 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 you, so you have to take me then, because I have not You've I'm, got only like one or two, but... No, but I want to laser my underarms. Ah, yes. Because, because what I've come to realise is that 
also when my diet is really great all the dark spots yes. come off look sis it all comes look. off yes one clear look. so i want to now have that flawless thong <laughs> bikini body <laughs> ula will love it it's chocolate all around <laughs> telling you so yes my darlings that is what this episode is all about mm. let me know what you think down in the comments any suggestions for us as we are giving to you yeah this is our experience yeah this is what works for us it does not necessarily mean that it will work for, for you. you yeah the point being is that to be really really honest if you feel like you need to lose some weight because they're asking about the 30 the 90 day detox yeah the 90 day detox was this i have my oats my fruits my greek yogurt in the morning sometimes i will not even have the oats i would just have the greek yogurt mm. but the trick of it all was that i take six meals during the day yeah so i have a breakfast i have like a little snack i have lunch a little snack then i have dinner and i am done 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 so when is your last meal like 6 30 yeah 6 30 yeah. 6 30 really 6 30 6 is a bit stretching mm. it but 6 30 for real for real yeah. i'm good because by 7 i have my nighttime workout because ula puts adrian to bed mm. and so that's my time and so i work out and i enjoy it because yeah. i can think i can process I can think about what I need to do for the next couple of days, how the day went or whatever. And I start slow on the treadmill. Yeah. But what I've found, and that's with anything, mm -hmm. it's the walking and then walking up a hill to burn the thighs. Yeah, because I burn a cardio. A it? lot of cardio. Yeah. And then lifting weights. You've got to lift weights because that is what will keep the body toned. Okay, if you look at my arms now. There you go. There you go. So you just get free weights and you just do, let us say, 12, uh, uh, three sets of 12. Yeah. Where you can just take up and bring it down like yeah. so, so that you have that, mm -hmm. so that you work these. So these. Yes, and then you can lift it up this way yeah. also that you can do. And then you can go up and then you can bring it down. Yeah. Up and then bring it down. Yeah. 12, 12 times. And then this way and yeah. then that way every other day mm. you'll see the difference yeah. you will see the difference drink your water if you feel that you cannot drink water then add water to your drink yeah until it's so diluted that you will find yourself one day you have transitioned because it's the transitioning i understand it's so it's hard. hard and please give yourself that time yeah. let me tell you something when i'm ready to detox two weeks transition it's hard, Two. isn't it? Christina, I'll tell you right now, girls, I can't do it. You're asking for too much from me. <laughs> <laughs> it has to start with me saying, okay, you know what? Let me have my skimmed milk with my cereal. Mm. That's how it starts. Let me have my brown rice instead of white rice. Yeah. Let me come and start having my boiled eggs or poached eggs. Yeah. Let me have my steamed plantain. Yeah. Let me have my sweet potatoes mm -hmm. alongside my 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 whatever. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? It has to start from there where I'm a little bit cautious. I put my water into my soda, whatever soda that is. Yeah. Because I like Coke, I like Seven Up, I like Bitter Lemon. What about the elderflower i love elderflower yes. love 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 elderflower live for it and i still drink it Just why because i have sweet tooth i'm sweet i'm not savory I've, I've got a sweet tooth as well love my snacks yeah. love my cookies my ice creams but love it so you know what this time i incorporated my sweets mm. into my new lifestyle translation yeah. i will have it here there and that's it and that's it here there and that's it i won't have it every day mm -hmm. three four different chocolates no for me but i know oh you know what i live and love this last but not least get a calorie counter mm. you have to have a calorie counter tracking everything you eat track majority you will be shocked at how much you consume you will be shocked. You say, oh, but I just took a little this, a little that. I'll, I'll tell you right now, let me help you out. Peanuts, extremely fattening. Mm -hmm. You just think, oh, I'm taking a little bunch of peanuts. That's not too much, just fattening. It would have been better if you had gone ahead and taken a granola bar. Mm. So it educates you 
on what is really high calorie and what is low calorie. Yeah. Quite as it's kept, that's how I found that strawberries were low calorie. I did not know. I really did not know. And I want you guys to know that it happens to all of us. Yeah. It's all of us that are experiencing this. And you get better as you go because and then you realize, I want to lose weight now. I want to. It's not magic. This is something that takes progress, yeah. process, and time because you are consistent yeah. and to be consistent you have to want it for yourself i hear girls all the time he fine he gorgeous look at him look at his abs i want him but mama you are a big chunky sis you big you're not curvy you big do you think he doesn't want a girl with flat abs too just the way you're looking at him you have to be exactly what you desire and want mm -hmm. i'm sorry i'm gonna call it like it is what you want, you have to be that and better. Yeah. You gotta be flawless if you want flawlessness. Mm. That's all I'm saying. Because these guys, these girls that you're looking at, they put the work in. Yes. It is consistency. Yeah. Be consistent and you will see the results. Christina, take the floor, my darling. So fulmination. That's, that's, that's just really it, you know, as the saying goes, you are what you eat, we really are what we eat. And as we're getting older, you know, we, we spoke about us in our 50s the other day, but this doesn't only apply to those in their 50s, it's 60s, it's 70s, it's 80s. Just being a better version of yourself and that is just trying to eat healthy and exercising. And as Fumi said, it doesn't have to be on the treadmill, it doesn't have to be in the gym. Walk, start off with walking. You know, and you will feel so much better for it. I have benefited from just eating healthy, regular walking. I do a lot of walking. I've just gone back to the gym now. And my fibromyalgia, as you ask her that question to ask me, it will never go away. Mm. But what I have managed Could to control do, it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I feel so much more better for it. And I hope to continue in this path. And so I hope you will as well for me nature. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you know, yeah. we're here to support one another yeah. as sisters, and yeah. you know, my big sis here, she's doing the same thing. We yeah. love you guys, we really do. That's it, that's it. Fumination. Fumination, I live for you guys, you know, I do, you know, I do. Drop down in the comments your suggestions, your queries, your questions. Follow us on Instagram. These are our handles at Christina Ajayi and Fumi De Salovod on IG. Follow us. Follow our daily grind and we are smiling and with it to you from London. Bye. Bye. <laughs>